What is up YouTube, it is Matt's Monsters. I am making a video today over my 125 gallon Monster Fish Aquarium. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's got an Oscar in it right off the rip and a couple of catfish and that other cichlid. So, I guess let's start with what's in it. So we got a Super Chef Bobby Flay from my Oscar. Of course he's beat up because he chases the chocolate cichlid around every now and again. But I just redid the tank so we didn't beat himself up as much. But there he is, probably about five or six months old. His colors are starting to come in real nice. We got my chocolate cichlid. Not sure what's going on there. I think it's some scarring, but he is healthy. I have my Tigrinus catfish, which the Tigrinus catfish is a grow out fish. Uh, I will be purchasing a 240 gallon aquarium once this aquarium fish needs a larger home. But as you can see, we have some time. They are not fast that fast of growing fish. juke them out so yeah pretty cool fish not many people keep them uh, my favorite of the shovel nose uh, as they do stay at quite manageable size I think they are worth the money if you want a larger catfish so you don't you're not stuck dealing with a four foot monster these guys tend to stay around the two foot mark and will do well in a two 180 is kind of pushing it but you can get away in 180 or a 200 220 240 compared to a thousand gallon aquarium need for the, some of the red tails and the tiger shovel nose catfish. I think those catfish shouldn't be sold. One of the lone picked his catfish. He just hangs out, no one really bugs him. So I left him in here. And we have my Lima shovel nose catfish. He just started eating again. Not sure what's going on with him. Um, but let's address two things you probably noticed right off the rip. The tank is very scratched. Got this tank for a steel off of Craigslist, so I don't mind it. And the tank's very dirty. Uh, that's because I have an Oscar and I try to feed catfish. So I have new filtration coming this week, actually. I currently run the Sunsung canister. I forget exactly what it's rated for, but you can see the tag there. But I have an FX6 coming which is rated for way over 125 gallon aquarium. So I think that'll work well. Um, then I have two Aquion 300 watt heaters, both set for 80 degrees. And then a hang on the back 90 gallon marine, marine land filter just for some surface disruption. And then a power head. Um, been scrubbing algae, this is my first larger tank. So my uh, magna float does not work on it. So I'm gonna have to go get a new one. As of that, I've just been using my Magna Float by hand when I clean the tank out. Um, yeah, I spray painted the back of the aquarium. I have three lights on it. I'm not a huge fan of the three light. I think it looks, the lids came with it, so excuse the uh, build up on them. I've been trying to do my best keeping this cake clean. I have this three foot marine land light that's gonna get replaced with my Hyger 48 inch light that was on my 75 that I just replaced. And then I have two Aquion Optimax 30 inch LED lights. So the tank looks very good. I'm excited, especially as the Oscar and chocolate cichlid grow and fill out. I'm just gonna keep it with that centralized piece of driftwood. And I forgot, I have a red tail thresher plecko in here. He's doing a terrible job. See a little bit of them. You can see part of this fin right there. Of course, he's out most times, and then when I take videos, he's not. Let's see if I can see him back here. You see him right there? Oh, not bad. All right. So that's my 125 gallon monster fish aquarium. Um, my version of monster fish and other people's is probably significantly different. I don't really think many people have the capabilities to hold a fish that get over two feet in captivity unless they have above average jobs. Um, 
so I tend to stay in the smaller range. And once I save up enough money, obviously buy a 240 gallon tank, maybe 180, it all depends. Obviously that's something that costs a significant amount of money. So there's a lot of dependence and life on that one. But yeah, we have one more fish that's gonna go in here. He's actually in my 75 gallon South American tank. This tank is gonna get the larger filter from the 125 once the FX6 shows up. And I can see him. I don't know if you can. He's way back. There he is. That is a broken line Royal Plecko. I apologize, I just used my phone. Yeah, once the big tank gets purchased, these fish will go in the 125. I have five Geophagus Venyes. Five, what you call them? Uh, red tail Hemiotis and a Green Seven. Oh. Well, thanks for watching, let me know what you think. Um, Stocking's pretty much how it's going to be. Just because due to the Oscar, I struggle to keep this tank clean. Um, yeah, let me know what you think and leave anything below. Thanks for watching. Bye.